Rated M for Mature. My name is John Garcia Shelton, and I'm the producer. In a lot of the ways, the story mirrors the story of Pandora's box. When you open the box, you unleash the creatures of myth and legend into the modern world. And what that does is it's a really profound impact. And these creatures come back to the world that they existed in thousands of years ago, and they start to remake it back into their place. The impact on our world, our buildings, our structures, our society is profound, and it you get to see it all and experience it all as you're trying to survive. My name's Steve Skelton, lead designer. In the game, you learn um, after opening the box that there are two secret societies uh, that are both trying to get a hold of the box and either harness the power of the box for their own evil plans um, or to try and set things back the way they were before you open the box. And that's the Council of 98 and the Black Order. This is in our world, but yet it has that mythological element. It's, it's unique. It hasn't been done yet. I mean, creatures of myth, you, it just there's so many stories about what they can do. And being able to take those aspects of those creatures and bring it into the game, we're able to add a lot of behaviors and experience for the player. One of the first things we did when researching the types of creatures that we wanted to have in the game was looking at different mythologies, different creatures, and what their legends said about them. And then we translated that into what could be a good in-game mechanic. And then balanced that against the types of different mechanics we wanted. So we wanted the werewolf, we wanted it to be a really strong predator with the griffin, we wanted it to be a gigantic unstoppable force, so we would balance it in different ways that way. With Legendary, we're going to take it where we've never gone before. Not only are you going to have these epic cinematic moments of intensity, but the creatures and the technology driving the artificial intelligence, how the creatures think in the world, is some of the most advanced technology anywhere in any game. We have some creatures that do update visually with damage states. Um, in other words, you will see uh, flesh revealed beneath um, the skin of the creature sometimes. This occurs with our werewolf and our minotaur. Um, the werewolf itself actually regenerates and you'll be able to see that in the game as well. It looks uh, quite realistic. What makes our creatures next gen is probably more the quantity than anything else that you'll see on the screen. The real challenge was holding the quality bar up while drawing that much stuff at, the, at once. What we really wanted to do with our creatures and their mythology is to give them a sense of space in the world and presence. Our creatures don't just attack the player, they, they use the world to attack the player. What's real to you is real to the creatures and it gives them a weight and a presence in the world. Just because they're mythological creatures doesn't mean to us they didn't exist in our game. You're going to see things like a minotaur bash through walls on, on the way to pursue the player. The first time the player is fighting the werewolf and they start to shoot it and it changes its path away from the bullets to go grab a computer monitor and chuck it at them. That kind of intelligence and awareness is going to be a breath of fresh air to the player. But I think the thing that's most fun about playing Legendary is just uh, the feeling of being overwhelmed by this new force of nature that's introduced back into the world. You really get a sense when the creatures start coming at you that they can be coming from in front of you, from behind you, to the left, to the right, up and down, and you always have to be constantly readjusting yourself to this new world, even though it's in this familiar setting, all the rules are completely different. Legendary.